styrofoam and tripod fell in the water. <laughs> reservation and put two people but that I didn't change it to one so he was like oh I was expecting two people and I was like mm. oh what is this little, little house okay I'm about to go give me some welcome money. to the Belize vlog I'm so excited and I'm gonna be honest I was a little nervous coming here you know the type of stereotypes they like to give to Central American countries it's like the moment I went through the airport and like just getting over here to San Pedro, like never did I feel an ounce of like nervousness. And this is my first night here and I was just driving a golf cart in the dark. Like I had to go get me something to eat because I really didn't eat much all day. So I got some pupusas. I tried to catch this place that the guy was telling me about. It's like a Jamaican barbecue place, but they had just closed. So I got that and she gave me some, is this coleslaw and cheese? Y'all tell me, and some red stuff. And um, I picked up some water and and I got this. Look at this big old cinnamon roll. So, and it's like real soft. Like, it's not hard like the ones you be buying at home. I'm excited, I'm gonna have that for breakfast. But I came here to get dive certified. So I thought about it. I almost went to the beach after this and just like chill, caught the sunset, but I have to finish my e-learning because tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning is the first uh, like, I don't wanna say class day cause they're not, it's gonna be like hands on, like we're gonna actually be diving tomorrow. So you have to have the e-learning finished and I got one more section and it is so long. I'm almost done. So I'm trying to see one of my pupusas is pork, beans and cheese and the other one is spinach and cheese. And it's still hot. Oh, mm. let me not forget this important point. I was about to sit down and eat. I sat down at the restaurant, ordered my food, and then it started getting a little dark. Then the mosquitoes came out and I was like, wrap it up to go. I Wrap it up. I can't do it. Wrap it up. I have bug spray, but I didn't put it on. I just wasn't thinking about it. I didn't expect to be out. But driving around, I felt so comfortable. Driving around, I got lost. So I ended up making circles around the island. Mmm. Okay, pork and beans and cheese. Cause I sat down and ordered this and they were like making it right there in front of you. Like hibachi. So I already knew it was gonna be good. But I'm gonna finish my e-learning and then I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'm gonna get up in the morning. And I don't know how much of the dive stuff I'll be able to film. Of course I have my GoPro, but I don't think it goes down deep enough for me to be able to film like underwater diving stuff. So I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see y'all. Hey y'all, 
look at my sleepy face. So I missed my alarm a little bit, but look at this. So I'm about to drive to my dive class. I hope I'm not late because, of course, I have to find it. But it's an adventure. Yeah, yeah. Gratitude is a must. Yeah, see blessings fall by my right hand. Bossa to us with the friends at the club. If you load one time, get sit down in a class. I'm report that police said the road. I'm going to go on to the road. I got my goggles on because I got my contacts on when I don't have a mask on. Um, Look at my little... My little wetsuit, he had to give me a short one. He gave me a long one at first, and I was like, I can't fit it. Because I got up to my booty, and I was like, it's, it don't fit. And he was like, okay. He said, let me give you a, a short one. <laughs> we started diving, and he's teaching me how to breathe and stuff, and I stopped him while we were swimming. I was like, I can't breathe. So I felt like my chest was like tightening up. But we just had to keep working through it. So now I'm used to it. I'm considering like adding on this dive package to go to like the Marine Reserve and stuff. And in that moment, I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I was like, I can't do it. I'm gonna die. But progressing on now, I feel like I'm a pro. There's nothing. I got this. I've been trying to figure out how to get down to the beach that's right by my hotel and there's this resort see these white buildings there's this resort that has just like built the resort in front of almost the entire beach and they have security out front like you can't park in there and there's no way to like walk through there so I found this like alleyway they're doing construction over here on the restaurant but why is this the only way to get to the beach? That's rude. I walked down to the resort. There's no one out here. So I'm sitting in one of their little like, I don't even know what you call, what call this. Like, it's a whole like seat, like a little couch. Are you on your way? Are you coming soon to me? No parking in the bay. So I'ma send an Uber to your place It's my secret safe Safe with just you and me We can't leave a trace This is my favorite I'm here down the beach from the dive school And I have to get some breakfast Because I didn't really eat a big meal last night I got some watermelon juice Some fresh watermelon juice So good. Now I ordered a breakfast burrito. I'm walking down the beach to go to the dive school. Oh, it's right here. Y'all, the food be so good. It hit every time. It's like Costa Rican food. Like it hits every time. And I always get the best service. They so nice. Oh, I don't wanna leave. Tell y'all how 
freaked out right before the dive. I just needed a minute to breathe. And then we went to like 60 feet. I keep telling y'all, I'm a pro. So right now we just came back and we have to do like a surface interval, they call it. So you have to sit for like an hour in between dives to let the nitrogen release from your body. So we're just chilling, equalizing, and then I'll go back out and I'll do my last dive and I'll be certified. Oh my God, it's a bunch of little fishies in the water right here. Oh my God. So I saw two sharks, um, two stingrays. I seen a bunch of dories. I have to ask him, he showed me something. It looked like a big water spider, like, but it had blue hands. I, I forgot to ask him what it was. He did this when we saw it. I, I don't know yet if I wanna add the extra dive. I still don't know. Cause I, I just wanna make sure I'm comfortable. Definitely not comfortable enough to do a blue hole. So that's, they're, they're training us up to 60 feet. The blue hole goes to 130 feet. But if you only open water certified, you can only go to 70 feet. But I'm like, mm, I don't know. But 60 feet was fine. Once I got comfortable, I could look up and still see the surface. So I guess that that's what was the difference. I don't know, 130 feet, child, mm, mm, mm. I don't know. But it's a beautiful day. So after this day, I have two more full days. Um, I just booked a couple of extra days just in case like it rained and I wasn't able to dive or I don't know, if anything happened. So I didn't plan anything, but now I have to figure out what I want to do with my two days. It's my instructor, Yemen. So that's nice. All right, guys, we're back. I am officially certified. So I know I told y'all I seen two sharks. So those were reef sharks, very non-dangerous no threat at all but right when we were coming up on our dive so we were taking safety stop three nurse sharks feeding so they going at it and we're just like look look and they're like because the other people i was with they had a camera at first but they didn't bring it and you're like man i can't believe we didn't bring the camera <laughs> now i just i'm walking to the market um trying to pick up some souvenirs I guess they heard me talk and they were like, oh, she's not from here. And they asked me where I'm from. And then one of the guys, I was like, oh, I'm debating like if I want to leave or if I want to eat. And he was like, oh, go get this barbecue right around the corner. And I was like, oh, cool. And I was like, right over there? And he was like, yeah. So he walked me over there. And then he was like, you gonna give me a plate too? And I was like, what? So I got my plate and I started walking back to the golf cart. And then he came back up to me. And he's like, and then you want for me too? And I'm like, what? And I was like, I thought you was joking. Who would expect me to buy them a whole plate of food just for you walking around the corner with me? Like, I could have. I just didn't understand. So he got so mad and like, started saying Spanish. I guess he was cussing in Spanish. And I was like, why would you do that if he was expecting me to buy you a whole plate of food? Because what if I didn't? Now you mad. You know what I mean? Mm. This is a plantain. Better than the ones I had yesterday. Not that they were nasty, but they were good too. These good. But why would you do that expecting me to buy you like a tire plate of food? I was bamboozled. And he said something about why I come to the island, if he gonna do that. And then the other two guys, I don't know if they act like they didn't know him off of the year, but they were like, who is this guy? They were helpful to me. They helped me back out my golf cart because I couldn't get out and they were just fine like it's not like they wanted me to give them five dollars to help me back out my golf cart so just a little rude encounter I was kind of hard guard I was like what 
He talking about my conscience and all of this. Bro, my conscience is beautiful. Because I help people all the time. You, I don't know, you deserve it. Potato salad, good. And not to mention, I've been tipping every single person anyway that deals with me. And they don't expect it. There's more plantains under the potato salad. Oh my god. I think that's why I taste so good. The potato salad and the plantains together. Mm. told me that island over there is owned by Leonardo DiCaprio. And then this is the beach. Oh, this is so beautiful. About to flick it up, you already know. I don't know if y'all can hear me even, but if you see those pictures from this spot, right here on Secret Beach, just know my entire phone and tripod fell in the water to get those shots. Okay, like the wind is blowing a little bit too hard and my tripod is not the most heavy, stable thing. This is the one I like to travel with because it's so lightweight. But child learned my lesson today. Okay, my entire phone and tripod <laughs> was under the water for a good 30 seconds. <laughs> Shout out to iPhone and my phone being waterproof. I think it's okay because I needed directions to get home. Like. I can only laugh like I've definitely learned my lesson and I so I still got the shot I still got the shot so I just put it up against this white pole just to make sure like because it just blew in the water girl just fell I couldn't catch it then the steps got slippery because of the algae at the bottom girl <sighs> I can only laugh bro <laughs> so after sitting my phone in rice at the last bar I got my portable charger in and we are at this swimming wade through. We walked all the way from over there, waist deep water. We, my new friend, um, she's in the water over there. will not believe what just happened <laughs> the ride to secret beach really was like turned out to be like an hour okay so i told myself like yes i will leave by four to make sure i get home by five to have daylight to drive home <sighs> so i left at like 4 15 4 20 okay doing good i get kind of into the city and there's a street that i need to go down that's blocked off so I do a circle like two times before I figure out how to get past it. And then I get past it. Okay, cool. And then I'm like, I know I want to stop and get me something to eat before I get to the hotel. So I remember this place that was near where I got ice cream from yesterday. So I stopped there. Get me something to eat. Everything is going good. I used the bathroom. It only took like eight minutes. Like it was really quick. I paid and then I go to get back in my golf cart. <laughs> and the golf cart will not start. And I'm like, I know I have gas. I made sure I had enough gas before I left to go to the secret beach. I'm trying different ways. I'm taking the key in and out. I'm trying to reverse, I'm trying forward. It will not start. And I'm like, okay, what's the solution here? So the golf cart rental guy, his number is like on the front of the cart. So I was like, I'm just gonna have to turn my data on. It's $10, like it's getting dark. Let me just turn my data on, text him, and let him know that I have a problem. So I start typing out the message. I put the number in. <sighs> and you will not believe this guy pulls up next to me and says, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, oh my God, I was just texting you. I was like, the golf cart, it won't start. <laughs> 
it won't start. And he's like, oh, let's see, let's see. And I was like, I have gas. Like, I don't know what's going on. I was just texting you. So he's like looking at it. He's like, yeah, you got gas. He was like the fuse or he said something about the cylinder. And so he's like, take the one that I'm driving, just take it. And I was like, are you sure it's okay? I was like, did I do something? I'm freaking out at this point, right? I'm like, did I do something? Did I break it? Like what's going on? And he's like, no, no, it's okay. Like just take this one, put your stuff in here. Like it's, it's okay, it's okay. And then I just get on that one and I'm looking back. I'm like, does he need help? Does he need a ride? Should I stay? But you know, meanwhile, it's it's getting dark. Like, it's after, it gotta be around five o'clock or something. And I, so I just get in his golf cart and I just drive off. He's like, yeah, I've been meaning to uh, change yours. Cause like I said, they gave me the six seater and he wanted to change it to a smaller one, but maybe he already knew that one was kind of, and I'm just like, <laughs> after all that, after me dropping my phone in the water, then trying to make it home and being blocked off and then, I get in a golf cart thinking everything's okay and then it won't start. But I'm here now. I'm back. <laughs> Secret Beach was amazing. <laughs> so I saw my friend. I actually met her on the boat on the way over here and I noticed her at the bar. So I was like, hey. And so we hung out there and then I um I was like, yeah, I gotta get out of here before it gets to heart, you know. And she was like, yeah, cool. Now I'm back at the hotel. I made it back. I made it back. I, I was really nervous about driving out there by myself. You know, such a long ride, dirt roads, you gotta see. I made it, I made it back. <laughs> so hopefully my um dive gets confirmed for tomorrow. Um, They were just waiting to see if enough people would book. So hopefully, I have to check my email. Y'all, I've been up since four in the morning. Something just woke me up. My phone was black, it wouldn't cut on, and I was like, oh my God, my phone is broke, like this is it. So I had my computer. All in all, I had to update my computer and then update my phone to get it to come back home. And I didn't lose anything because I was hysterically crying. Well, not hysterical, but I was like, oh my God, I lost all my footage. Like, how am I supposed to have a copy of my COVID test and go home? Like, I'm freaking out. I got it together. It stressed me the F out, for real, because just so much stuff was going through my head. I'm about to go take my COVID test. And then, as long as I calm down, like, I don't, I have a, the dive plan, but it's, if I still feel anxious, I'm not going to do it. Otherwise, I'm just going to cancel it, and I'm going to chill in the hotel, because this trip has been trying me. Ooh, girl, I feel like I won't go, go, cause you